Welcome back guys. Today I'm going to show you how to laser cut foam rubber and if you stick around I'll show you how to dress up your laser for Halloween. Stay tuned for my Halloween special. Alright guys I went ahead and ordered this pink foam rubber here from Amazon and uh, it's about a half of an inch thick and I'm going to show you how I'm going to cut it here on this laser. But before we start doing that I need to get a couple measurements. I'm going to be using old trusty blue over here. I'm working with two foot by three foot. So, if you guys want to stick around to see how to lay out what I'm about to do here for you guys, I'm going to post a video directly before this video on showing you how to lay out what I'm doing here. Stay tuned. Okay, so I cut a piece to fit inside my laser bed. You see, we got a little curl here, and you know, um, lasers don't like bowy, bendy things. So, I'm going to show you my solution. When I have bendy, warpy stuff, that isn't going to cost too much of an issue if it comes back up, like catch the nozzle or something. I like to use, since I'm coming from a construction background, I use uh, leftover nails for a 16 penny nail gun as a weight because they're very skinny and heavy. And that way they'll hold the, the product down and my nozzle will be able to pass over this without any issues. I do make sure that I don't put these in areas where I know the nozzle is going to hit or wall fire because you can't cut through these with this. That's for sure. You wouldn't get very far. Looks like I'm going to need more than four. Okay, so I got this foam laid out. Best it's going to get. Foam's very, very easy to cut. And it's also very flammable. So you need to make sure while it's cutting, you cut it fast. And you um, stay close because it's a petroleum product. Uh, let's go ahead and turn this on real quick. Okay, so my machine's on. Now I'm gonna turn on the fan. Let's go. Now our draft is pulling. And uh, you wanna make sure you focus the top of the rubber just like you would be cutting anything else. I wanna mention I am cutting with an 80 watt power CO2 tube with a two, about a two inch lens. It's lens only 18 millimeters. So that's what one downside of this machine. I do wish that it had a 20 millimeter lens. Okay, so I'm focused to the top of the rubber. I'm gonna go ahead and I notice I have one more place that's popping up. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, weight that down and then uh, we'll get the uh, engraving or the, the, the file going. Okay, so the file's here. Hopefully you guys have already watched the uh, video of how to lay out the file, which I'm going to post 15 minutes before I post my video. I try to post the how-to file for the, the grill draw and the graphics design part. But a lot of you know how to do that already, so you find that boring. But if you don't know how to do that, that's a great resource. Downloading it from the cloud. It helps to plug the machine in when you're trying to send a file to the laser. Otherwise, you'd be like, what's going on? I don't have any connection. So make sure that USB port's hooked up or you got your Ethernet port hooked up. All right. I am going to run this. I've never cut this particular foam rubber. It's got a weird netting on the back. So I hope this goes smoothly. I'm cutting at 35 millimeters a second. 70% power. Whoa, 70% power. I try to keep my machines at 65. So, someone that's working here, you guys are set these above higher than what I want. I want them to be at 65% power or lower, not higher, because then that saves life on your tube. So, let's go ahead and frame this bad boy out. I'm sorry for the rattle. I know I still haven't fixed my door. Let me look at it real quick. Okay, that's better. So, let's go ahead and frame this down here. All right, it frames out fine. I need to put those extra weights on that I was talking about. I'll do that now. All right, I'm gonna run this now. Hopefully we don't catch on fire. Blow the top off the best we can. This machine has a tinted glass window, so it's really hard to see. And this machine is really hard to run with the door open. Okay. The cut. Not 
split it and cut, it cut like butter. I think I could have cut faster than that. So it's 37 millimeters a second, 65% power on an 80 watt tube. If you go to a 60 watt tube, I'll just reduce that, but uh, I'd reduce the speed a little bit. But I think that I could have sped this up because I started to burn it just a little bit. You can see on the back here, I burn it just a little bit. So I think I could have sped this up probably to 50 millimeters a second. But regardless, it cut like butter. Think of the possibilities of laser cutting foam rubber stay close petroleum product but uh, my sister was into puppetry if she knew how to use one of these she could have uh, made up all kinds of uh, puppets or uh, design clothes whatever uh, cut these really intricately fast and productive and you won't need a crew to cut them for you so i think that's great now i'm going to do you one better because i'm going to actually cut something out here and then we're going to get on to this uh decorating the laser for halloween Okay, so before I do the next step, I need to verify some measurements. So again, you can go see that video if you want. So 40 by eight. So I have eight inches by 40 inches. What am I doing? Mark in the comments below if you don't know. <laughs> All right, while I'm waiting on the cloud to send that to this computer, I'm gonna tell you what I'm doing. I'm gonna cut a piece of eighth inch plywood, which if you don't know how to cut eighth inch plywood, my settings are on eighth inch plywood on an 80 watt, machine co2 65 percent power 17 millimeters a second my current stock so uh, varies from stock to stock you may have to um, decrease the power and then you may be able to speed up the power depending on the types of glues and the types of lumbers and the efficiency of your tube and whatnot but 65 percent power 17 millimeters a second typically cuts it every time then plywood got that one in stock didn't need to get it on amazon okay so you focus it just to the top of the plywood don't ever focus to the metal, just the top of the plywood. I'm gonna go ahead and frame this and we'll get her going. So those of you that don't know, this style of machine has a built-in exhaust fan. I don't care for it, it doesn't work very good. That's what's rattling in the back of my door. I'm gonna probably show you a video on how to remove that and add an external fan. But for now, we're gonna suffer through the noise. Okay, turn the fan on. Like I said, I don't like that exhaust fan in the back. I think it's halfway broken. It sounds like the parents are going out. Got pulled out. So I had to add the external one with the push button. All right, in and out. Settings are where they need to be. 17 millimeters and 65% power. As you can see here, we're cutting. Okay, for this next step, we need to get ourselves a hot glue gun. And by the way, you can get really long hot glue gun sticks. I think you can get them longer than this, just so you know. And um, while this is warming up, we'll get ready for the next step. We cut out. Check my hot glue gun. Whoop, we're ready. So we'll go on the back of this weird piece. I'm just gonna put a couple dots on it. And we'll glue that right to my laser. Let's go get the foam rubber. What the heck did I do with it? All right, so the top of my door here, I'm gonna glue on my foam rubber. No, no, one a minute. Just keep waiting. Okay. And now, something I didn't show you yet. I just had to pick these up. I'll show you what they are. Just wait your horses. Hold your horses. And we'll put these on my laser. Right there. All right. Now, 
show you what the heck I did. God, that's hilarious. Happy Halloween! I might keep this a permanent fixture here at the footsteps of the past.com. Let me know what you think about how I dress up my laser and show me some pictures of you dressing up yours. Thanks for stopping! Turn my camera off. See you later.